my shoes always look new because I never walk on them. It's bright, right just the day I bought them. Does he mean a chair? And that you know when they're asking questions about me, they won't ask them directly to me. The last person that I'm with. They say that there's a reduced life expectancy, which is around 17. They say, I don't know if that's changed now. So in my final, final year, quote unquote. When you're younger, you're more hopeful. Once you hit, hit, hit 18, you just sort of get forgotten. Get forgotten about boy consultants and specialists. I'd say I'm very independent. I make my own choices and it was my choice whether to have the heart transplant or not. Having the right to do what, you know, do things the way you want to do. Like what treatment you want if you become really ill. I need help, um, you know, going to bed, I need help with toileting, I need help feeding, even help feeding and so in that sense I'm not independent. However, uh, sort of mentally speaking, I am very, very independent. When you start to drive, it's really, um, it's really good for independence because you're not relying on your parents. When I went to college, I felt I was a lot more independent. I think I grew up a bit and I was just a lot more confident. Living independently is the most important thing that you can enable people to do. When I left school, I went on to do a sports coaching course. Because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean you can't get out of the chair and do exercises. My ambition really is to own my own gym. I've got really good GCSEs, but they're not much of a comfort when you can't go, you know, use them and go out to the right world and get a job, get a house. As we've been to arrange this New Year's Eve party, a and a lot of people <laughs> have just said, I can't get there. But another thing that I find difficult is seeing an attractive woman and knowing, or at least thinking that she wouldn't be interested in me, would she? A lot of people put a lot of pressure on you, especially when you're only like 16, 17. It's all about, have you got a boyfriend, have you got a boyfriend? And it's awful when you're kind of like, no. <laughs> um, and I think that, that's really good when you've got mates around you that kind of say, oh, it doesn't really matter because they haven't either. And a lot of my mates have so much trouble with blokes anyway, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Let's be honest, most people don't see disabled people as sexual people. A lot of disabled people find it difficult to see themselves as a sexual person. I think everybody deserves to have cliche coming someone special in their lives. We both had times where we just thought, What's the is, point? What's the point? Yeah, is this too much? Is life really worth going through this? Each person has to decide for themselves what their limit is. Only one thing stopped me, I've got to say, and that was guilt. <laughs> guilt because for my mum, they give you the passion for life, your parents. And they keep you going. They say it's worth it because if you can get something out of that day, then that's what life's about. <laughs>